Hi there and welcome to Home Golf Improvement Lesson 11. Now instead of moving on with the swing, I'm going to do a little bit of chipping to give you a bit more time to practice the first three movements. What we're going to look at today is to how to control the ball flight and therefore the roll of a chip shot. Now, what I want you to understand is that no matter which chip shot you hit, your hands are in the same relationship to your body regardless. So our hands don't move and our body's going to be in the same position. The ball is going to move between our stance and that's how things change. So if I was going to hit a standard chip, the ball's left to centre and if I rest the club on my leg and make sure the leading edge is square to want the ball to go, take my grip and hit the chip, that's how the ball flies. So if I now have it opposite the back foot and again I put the club here, keeping the leading edge square I place it behind the ball. Okay, so the leading edge is square. I take my grip, and if I pick it up, you can see the club face is manipulated. So the club face is actually closed. So again, so I come from to here, move it back by keeping the grip on my leg, take the grip and hit the chip, and you can see that's gone an awful lot lower. It's also come out faster. So when it lands, that one will run more. And if I wanted the ball to fly higher, again, I rest the club on my leg, get the club behind the ball, keeping the leading edge square, and as you can see, the club face is open. So from the running chip, we've gone from a very close one to the higher one, the club face is open, but my body's in the same relationship for all three chips. And then you can see that one there goes up. So if we take a slightly closer look, you can see what the club face does. So that's the relationship for a standard chip. That is where it would be for a running chip, and this is where it would be for a higher chip. So what we actually do is we actually manipulate the club face at address before we take the stroke. Therefore, we've got more chance of achieving a high one, which lands and stops quite quickly, or a low one, which will land and then run and chase. So you mustn't take your grip and then get into position. You always preset the club and then you get yourself into position. Now, whilst you've got plenty of time at, at home, those that haven't seen it, this lagtastic, this is the perfect time to get yourself a lagtastic because this is when you can really work on your swings as we're probably gonna be at home for quite a while now. Now I'm not gonna show you how to bend this one because I've, I've only got a few left so you need to get onto my site, stuartsmithgolfacademy.com, go to the shop and you can buy one of these. These go into the end of your club and then on the video, you'll see how to bend it around yourself. Now what this does, this helps you to generate lag, therefore power in the golf swing. So as you come down, if the club head comes down too early, this is going to hit you. And I'm going to be running a whole load of lessons whilst using these, but I'm going to give you all a few days to get some. As I say, I'm not going to bend this one because I've only got a few left to, to sell and then we can do some lessons. So if you want to get your swing going with an awful lot more power and lag and that will really crystal up your, your strike and when we come out of this, you'll be playing better golf. You need to go and get yourself one of these.